Well, the Olsen twins are already hugely popular in the fashion arena, known for their impeccable style and their fashion labels, The Row and Elizabeth and James. But it's what they've done recently that's put their design credentials to the ultimate test. They recently styled a wedding gown for their childhood friend and stylist Molly Fishkin, who was married in LA recently. The dress was a total throwback to the Olsen style. It was completely bohemian, free-flowing, full of lace, and even a nod to the 70s with bell sleeves. What we loved most was the bride said as soon as she was engaged, the Olsen twins were absolutely on her case to design the dress and she said it couldn't have gone better. They were totally calm and reassuring the whole way through. I suppose this whole process has me wondering what Mary Kate will wear to her upcoming wedding and whether or not the Olsen twins will move into bridal designing in the future. When I look for fashion tips and inspiration, I look no further than these following siblings. The first on the list is Dakota and Elle Fanning, known for their whimsical, soft and free-flowing outfits featuring beautiful watercolour pastels. The girls have completely transformed in front of our eyes to bonafide style goddesses. Next on the list are Cara and Poppy Delavine, known for their flawless features. They also make the list with their impeccable styling and taste. They're always on the top of my list for the best dressed and I love looking at their quirky offbeat styles to see what they're wearing next. Next on the list is Beyonce and Solange Knowles. Known as the uber performers, they do not disappoint with their outfits. I love how they use clashing patterns, bright colours and team them together to make an ultimate statement. So that's just a really quick wrap up of my favourite fashion siblings. I would love to hear who you guys look to for styling tips and advice, so hit us up on the Bias Facebook page. Beyonce and Jay-Z are currently doing the On The Run tour and what's got me super excited is that all of her costumes are now available online to have a look at. Really interestingly, this time she hasn't gone down the route of the traditional costume designers but instead she's teamed up with these massive high-end designers including just a few, Alexander Wang, Pucci, Diesel and Givenchy. What's super cool about this is that although they are high-end designers and typically very expensive, it's the way that they've made it relatable and accessible to us. So they've used textures and fabrics that we can easily get our hands on, like denim, leather, studding and fishnets. And what I'm really loving are the Versace and Pucci patterns that they've used on a lot of her costumes because they're totally on trend with all of the summer prints in store now. Alexander Wang recently released his latest fall campaign, which was shot at St. Cecilia's Church in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. It's impeccably styled, the girls are beautiful, he's featuring some of the top models, but it's actually their poses that is causing a few people to get a little hot under the collar. I'm talking upskirt shots. Wang has spoken pretty in depth about this campaign and he said he came about with the idea of girls in survival mode and how this can lead to a form of rebelliousness. I don't know about you, but when I rebel, I'm not doing it upskirt, but whatever works for you, Wang. Brides rejoice! Earlier this year, H&M announced a range of $99 wedding dresses to hit their acts. This follows on from the massive designers such as the bridal guru Vera Wang and Victor and Rolf offering their take on affordable wedding gowns. It's just been released that the international average of a wedding costs $30,000 not including the honeymoon. So it makes perfect sense that these brands are going there with more affordable dresses to perhaps rein in the spending a bit. If you guys are interested, both JCPenney and Target are all over this trend offering their affordable lines of wedding dresses. Oh, oh. That works. Anyone who loves fashion or following fashion bloggers, fashion Instagrams, will know that sneakers are having a huge moment. Everybody put the sneakers on. It all started from the Isabel Morant, very famous now, wedge sneaker, which was made hugely popular by models of Judy, uh, such as Miranda Kerr and Cara Delevingne. It's filtered through the masses to the different brands, with Nike Free Runs and Nike Airs making a huge comeback. What I love most about sneakers is that they're super easy to style. You can team them with jeans, pretty dresses, shorts, floaty skirts, anything you've got at home really. And they come in so many different styles, I feel that they're kind of catered to all of us. If you're not with me on this trend, all you need to do is look at all of the celebrities wearing this style. We've got Sarah Jessica Parker, Kate Bosworth, Miley Cyrus, to name a few.
Miley Cyrus. Get to the club in my taxi cab. Everybody's looking at me now. Like, who's that chick that's rocking kicks? She gotta be from out of town. The latest fashion accessory to have a resurgence is the humble backpack. When I think of the backpack, I think of school or that skatey and surfer culture. But what's really made the backpack trendy again is the high-end fashion houses and their take on it. We've seen designers such as Philip Lim, Marnie, Stella McCartney offer their take on the humble backpack. And who can forget the row by Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen and their $55,000 crocodile skin backpack. Personally, I much prefer the cheaper take on these backpacks from ASOS, Topshop and Nasty Girl. Kanye West, Ryan Gosling, Miley Cyrus are doing this trend and doing it really, really well. The backpack's back. <laughs> this is my friend, backpack. Backpack, backpack. Well, baby fever has hit La La Land at the moment with a ton of celebrities showing off their best accessory, their baby bump. We recently saw Zoe Saldana step out in London in an absolutely beautiful monkey printed Valentino gown. She has been rocking the red carpets and killing every trend. Rachel Bilson was recently seen shopping around LA looking effortlessly cool and chic in a pair of shorts and a button down shirt. Kourtney Kardashian has been beating this heat wave wearing not much else other than her bikinis to go with her beautiful baby bump. Mila Kunis has been totally laid back cool in her boyfriend jeans, sneakers and rolled up t-shirts while Kelly Rowland has been wearing her baby bump with her workout gear. One thing's for sure, these women are looking totally stylish, amazing, healthy and happy.